One of the things that you casually mentioned was use it on the back end. I don't want to give people the impression that magnetic marketing is just for the front end at all because it's not. Magnetic marketing is not only about attracting people to you but attracting them to come back again and again and again. If you look at Steve Adams' business, the franchiser meddles a lot in the main brochure, the main website and all that. They really don't meddle much in what he does once he has a customer dash because firstly, they don't know how to do that and secondly, they don't really think it's their job. So pretty much he's left alone over there and you can do a lot over there. For example, there are campaigns in here for after you have the customer, how do you re-engage them? We have kept the old cash flow surge letter in here because it is so powerful. I insisted. This was the thing, one of the bullet points in the sales letter, that sold me on this. I needed a cash flow surge in a big, bad kind of way. We changed about 90% of this but we kept this letter in here. I took this letter for an art gallery and I modeled it for entertainment and it absolutely crushed it. This is a way someone can use magnetic marketing who is in a business where it has front-end limitations. Quite frankly, this letter, if you use it, is worth way more than the price of the entire system. We've discussed how to create a compelling message, we've talked about how to target your market, you know the fundamentals of magnetic marketing. What we're going to do in the next segment is determine how to get in front of those ideal prospects. You're going to discover the little-known secrets for generating a flood of high-quality leads. That's what most people want to know, how do I get more new business in? And that's what we'll be going over in segment number four.